how gorgeous are these environments? Yeah. Ooh. Greetings, friend. I am Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> what? Was that Morse code? Geeks, what is going on? Unite the clans here. Back in your life. Today I am bringing you Armacrog. This game is out just now. May I might be release this before the game comes out. Uh, it is a very cool one and one that I've been watching for a little while. It's a point and click adventure game, which honestly I don't play that many of, but it's entirely claymation. It's like playing a Wallace and Gromit movie. Now I'll say this game has a quite a long intro, so I'm gonna shut up for a bit and we are gonna dive into it. Uh, it's really good. So let's just sit back and watch. It's not over, there's a much longer intro. But this is like a Wallace and Gromit movie. And then we get to play this. Okay, okay, so Beak That's Beak Beak, Beak and I'm Tommy just glad we're still alive. Mm, yeah, me too. Now, let's get a look at the hull. Let's get a look at it. I don't think it's in good condition. Yeah, this does not look good. No, it doesn't. I don't think our pot insurance is gonna cover this. Mm. Our deductible is nuts too. Yep. Beak Beak. Oh, what the hell is what that? What do you thing? make of this guy? Ooh, and I'm like, oh god. Uh, the game is gonna start. Give me a hand. Give me a hand. In a second, I think. Oh wow. How epic! It's like a movie, Beaky. and we get to take over. Come on, Beaky, get your shit together. You see the thing that's uh, attacking Beaky. Tommy? We'll help. We'll help, Beak Beak. Yeah, give him this. Coming on! It ain't over. It ain't over yet. Nice work, little wing what buddy. Intro. Hey, that's what I'm here for. Alright, guys. Looks good enough for me. Let's go in. Yeah, hold on, hold on. We don't know what's inside. There could be Carpathian brain suckers or even... Yeah, let's get inside. <laughs> uh. Alright guys, so this is it. Here is the game. Beaky, what is this place? Got me! Point and click, baby. So watch this. I point at this thing, I click on it. Look what happens. Old school. And that, I think, is the lever that goes in this. A chunk. All right. Okay, go over here. Sorry. I do a lot of fiddle faddling. Oh yeah, lord, what is that? Well, it doesn't seem hostile. I'll tell you that much. How cool does the game look? First of all, the environment made out of clay, hand sculpted. The characters, same thing, and animated in the traditional way. And then you look at this thing. That's like some weird photorealistic. It's like a slime from Minecraft, but furry and orange. Okay, that does look important. What does this mean? Climb up here. 
Let's go press this light. Button? Oh, it is a light. Okay. And does that refer to, um, let's go see about this sculpture thing. What does it do? Go over here. Hello, sir. Can I, I can't interact with thee. Ah, I knew you'd come. You have traveled far, yet your true journey begins yes. through the exit unseen. The exit unseen. Now, I did see another exit. I don't know if this counts. But uh, let's get up over here. We'll beep. Get up on top, you fool. Get old Beak Beak. Come on, Beaky, and get in here. Can you go down the hole? No. Yeah. Beak Beak is blind. And uh, I think he sees the world a little differently than the rest of us. Because this is supposed to be very dark and scary. Oh, this thing right here. Grab it, Beak Beak. It's another lever. All right, Beak Beak has got a lever. He's back out here. Now, how do I give it to... to uh... That answers the question. There we go. That's how you do it. Oh, it's down here. It's fallen. All right. We've got it, and I saw a lever handle holder. Whatever you want to call it, straight through here. Which means... Do this. Nope, do this. I've returned. Ah, Shut I your mouth. Come. You have traveled See you later, far, yet your true journey begins through the exit Jeez. of... Okay, what? This just takes me back here? Huh. Well, maybe I was hasty. Your true journey begins... I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Through the exit unknown. I think I've just spotted that said unknown exit. Climb on top. He wasn't talking about Beak Beak going down the hole. He was talking about this. Push this thing. Beak Beak, you're stuck in the air, you fool. You danged fool. Where is he? Okay, he's here. Look up above this door. Keep pushing it, you lazy f The guys that made this also made Earthworm Jim, which most of you will not be old enough to remember. Is this the thing? Or that was a thing or does it have to do with this and then no nope. yep yeah, I did it okay ups I set up upon the climbeth yes earthworm Jim was an old platformer game it was super cool Ooh, it had like, a... like bacon in here what the hell? How gorgeous are these environments? Yes. Ooh. Greetings, friend. I am Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> what? Was that Morse code? He's showing us. Got it. One, two, one, two, three, one. Shoot! Guys, I've been messing around with this thing and I cannot figure it out. Cannot. Can we try this? Oh no! So what's the point of this? Okay. Whatever happened here, it was not good. Doesn't look good. That's all blown apart. That's all blown apart. Here's a big green button. Looks weird. It looks like it's made out of plastic. Aha! Uh -huh. Okay, now nice be Tommy work, peek, peek. go through here. Aha! Uh -huh. I'll figure things out. I get so frustrated in these games. Oh wow, this level looks different than any other one. This looks like a lever. Give it a yank. Okay, suction. Big computer? Oh, more symbols. I best not touch it. No, not a computer. Okay. Yeah, don't touch that. So... 
Guys, once again, stumped. I think I just gotta leave this room. I can't see anything that I can do. I can't find any sort of little interactions. I think we mess with this thing again. And we'll see. It does! Well, I guess we'll get to the top of this thing eventually. Oh, where are we now? Can I go over here? No, I can't. That would be a fool's move. Of course I can't get over there. We go this way. That's the top. That's that weird octopusy thing. Oh! What do we have here? Some sort of lever. Will it work with this? No, this needs a lever, right? Okay, it has that power symbol. Power symbol. Alright guys, so either we find a power symbol somewhere that can maybe make that, that gondola thing work, or um, we can use this lever on something. And it's not that. It's not the thing that we just found it. Oh yes. Okay, maybe this. That weird looking hole. That little sphincter right there. Yes! Crank it. Beautiful! What? What did that do? Door's still freaking closed, you idiots. Crank it again! A green room. What did, what did I tell you? Ooh, what a good soundtrack. Oh, what a room. Uh, that rug is breathing, for one. The wall's a mess. There's some kind of jester hat hanging from the wall, the ceiling. There's a hole in the ceiling. What are you? Some kind of flying squirrel? It's a baby. It's a teeny little clay baby. It's baby. Claymation baby. He's a cutie. Can you imagine the wandering monster this thing is attracting? I'm just saying. Oh, he's so cute. Don't touch that baby. You don't know where it's been. <laughs> Such a cute game. Alright. Guys, I think that's as good a point as any to take a break because I don't want to do a giant video on this game. Uh, I just want to preview it, take a first look at Armacrog, and I think we've explored some of the puzzles, definitely the humor and the style of the game, and I hope you guys enjoyed. If you want to see more, hit me up in the comments or leave a like, uh, and I will know to do more of this. Uh, and I think that's going to do it, geeks. Thank you for watching my first look at Armacrog. Thank you to the developers for hooking me up with the game early, and I will see you geeks in my next video. Okay, that's it then. I don't feel good. Oh god! Good lord, that's what the medicine does?